the What To Next podcast helps to build a TBR of future favorite books. In each episode, Lori and Maine interviews authors and book influencers to recommend books they love for you to pick up today. If you're an avid reader, always looking for your next great read, then the show. Hi, Piper. Hi, Rain. Welcome to the What To Next podcast. Thank you. Thank so... You. For our listeners, Piper Rain is an author duo. So we got Piper, we got Rain. And so we're going to talk about how did they meet, how did they work together, and some of their latest releases, as well as some book recommendations. So let's get started with Piper. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, I am a mom of two, a daughter and a son, and I live just outside of Toronto in Canada. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I don't have any hobbies these days except for like reading, authoring, and momming. So I live a pretty boring existence. <laughs> I love that. It is all good. I think we're all we're all coexisting at this point, you know. Yeah. <laughs> After the past couple of years, we might as well just coexist. So yes. it's all good. It's all good. Um, so Rain, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm a mom as well. I live outside of Chicago. And um I have two kids, two twins, 14-year-olds, boy and girl. And other than reading and authoring and mommying, I would say maybe like binge watching television, like TV shows, I would say. Yeah. Like Bravo, so, especially. Bravo. Okay. So what kind of role? Are you are you in touch with the scandal wall? You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it's funny because I was just Piper start she's gonna start watching Better Pump Rolls because of the drama. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. worthwhile. So Bravo showed up. I've been I've been watching from the beginning. It's a great background uh, yeah. show, background show to watch. It's mm-hmm. high stakes. It's great for like, you know, if you think about conflict and you think about like drama, it's a great show yeah. for that. Um, yeah, and I I'm a big housewives watcher. Yeah. So um, I don't know why. And so I think I never watched because I was a little bit not loving Lisa Vanderpump after her exit from, you know, yeah. Beverly Hills. And so I sort of like protesting. But now I'm like, no, no, I, yeah. I need to see all the drama play out. Yeah, I could not care less about Lisa. Lisa's just kind of like an afterthought. I like the yeah. drama of it. And like, honestly, the first the first few seasons, I was so they're like, it's so messy. It's like reality TV show goal. It's messy. <laughs> there's cheating. There's yeah. scandals. They hit each other. There's backstabbing. <laughs> there's mean girls. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And then you right. see the root of like this, this, the scenario, like people cheated on each other, but it's not this level of scandal wall that we have experienced, yeah. you know, this mm-hmm. reckoning. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know i i i spent when the news broke i spent literally a week le- just immersed in it enough that i was telling the co-workers about it you know? yeah. <laughs> informing them like what is going on you know so mm-hmm. um so it is all good so thank you for indulging me with that uh, <laughs> so let's go back to reading so and writing how did you two meet uh, we shared an editor, actually. We were in 2014. We were at our first book signing um, when we wrote separately. Mm-hmm. And um, we shared an editor who introduced us and we remained friends over the years. Um, we kind of toyed with the idea of writing together. Um, it never happened for one reason or another. And then I think finally in 2016, right? Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, are we going to do this? <laughs> or not basically <laughs> you're like let's do it so yeah. what's the process like for you both to work on this together uh, our process is a little bit different than a lot of other co-authors that we know but um we plot everything together so we decide on our series and then um we plot like the entire series together I mean loosely we know like tropes we know couples we know professions things like that. And then when we get to the book, then we'll dive in a little bit deeper. And then one of us writes the entire rough draft. And then the other one comes in behind with editing and then sees it through the entire editing process, which is like two editors and a proofreader. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. And, then, and the person that wrote the rough draft will read it if they have time. And then just to make sure that they're okay with everything that happened, you know, anything that changed, but yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and you alternate who writes what, you know, per book or per series? Is that, you know? Yeah, yeah, pretty usually, much. Yeah. yeah, usually per series. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's really cool. And so you're writing, you're writing consistently, like you're publishing. So 
what's the writing schedule for you both looks like, you know, writing, editing, putting books together? Because this is like a whole, you know, family affair. Like it's a, it's a lot of work. Like you're doing the whole thing, you know? Mm-hmm. So Yeah, we keep telling ourselves we're going to slow down, but it just never seems to happen. Um, it is, as Piper, we used to, until this year, release every six weeks. And now it's every seven. We gave ourselves an extra week. Um, yeah. And under uh, P. Rain, which is our Kindle Unlimited pen name that we're just sort of launching this year, that's about every eight weeks-ish. Um, and so it is a nonstop like we are all like honestly always either writing revising like we're always in some form of like creation of a book yeah. um we try to get a few books ahead so we have like a little bit of wiggle room you know because life happens um but yeah no we were always in in some level of writing a book it just doesn't stop <laughs> All right. And you mentioned P. Rain, you're launching this year for Kindle Limited. Talk to us about like the rationale. I know Kindle Limited has, it's having its moment, you know, um, thanks to Book Talk. And so, what's the rationale? What can we, we just expect from this series that's different from Piper Rain, you know? Um, uh, P. Rain is going to be darker, um, more angsty, um, not as life and fluffy as our family ones, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so, and the rationale for going to Kindle Unlimited was more just, um, we just kind of wanted to see, try our hand at it a little bit, um, but we never would put our Piper Rain stuff because we love our fan base that we have, and mm-hmm. that extends to a lot of international readers, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we hate that, you know, we had to make that choice, but we feel like it was the best choice for P, where P Rain would sit in the industry, I guess. Or in the yeah. Yeah, and I think it's somebody diversifying your income streams like to different places. It's yeah. just to see and diversify and you know, diversifying your reader. Like your some readers may be kind of limited diehard and they may just like find them here and then they realize they're like, oh no, I can borrow this from the library. Or yes, I can right. actually get the audiobook from scri- script, or I can actually buy the book and like, you know, listen to it. So, yeah, you know, um, there's like there's plus and there's minuses. The plus is like you know, going wide, you can buy it everywhere. You yeah. Know? <laughs> so, yeah. So this is exciting. So, all right. So let's talk about the Kingsman football series. What is the elevator pitch for the series? Oh, Lord, the elevator pitch. <laughs> um, For the series. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, I don't have an elevator pitch, but I'll give you a few sentences. Yeah. So it's set in San Francisco um, and they're, you know, it's, sort of it's the 49ers but in our world it's the kingsman because we can't say it's the 49ers (laughs) um so it's basically uh set in um it's a found family affair um all of our books really have either like it is an actual large family or it's a found family um that revolves around the lives of three football players and their lady loves and we start off with uh lee and shana who became enemies back in college um, I don't want to spoil too much because there is the free prequel false start available. So if people want the details of what happened, they can pick that up. Um, and basically they find themselves uh, working together. Once again, he shows up for the first day of training camp and uh, the girl who got away, who hates him is the new trainer for the team. And so mm-hmm. now they have to find a way to coexist. And Lee is uh, not going to go down without a fight. He wants her to know that he is sorry for the things that transpired back in college. Yep. And this book is great on audio. Like I got to listen to it and it was like, it kept me company. <laughs> I was just like the whole, the whole experience was like, oh, this is so good. <laughs> so oh, I was happy to hear that. Yeah. We just moved to doing duets for all yeah. our audio. Um, and I think it makes a big difference in yeah. the enjoyable and how enjoyable yeah. it is to listen to. Yeah. So, all right. So we have over my dad's, over my brother's dad's body, Chase Andrews. It's your upcoming release and it's probably the last one in the, the series, correct? So tell us what is, what are the tropes? What are, what can we just expect from this one? Well, you got my brother's best friend, obviously. Yeah. Uh, neighbors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I knew have neighbors. Um, I guess Grumpy Sunshine. Yep. Uh, what else am I missing? Um, I just did this for the newsletter. I wrote like 10. So I was <laughs> like, no, him, you uh, <laughs> like, well, I was like found family, uh, forced proximity. There's something that happens that kind of forces them to continue to interact together. Um, 
opposite the track. Yeah, we said gr- grumpy sunshine. Um, it's uh, it's not really a holiday romance, but it is in the sense that she's away from her real life and she's just there for like a limited amount of time. So there's sort of an end date to uh, when she's going to be living in San Francisco. Um, yeah, and I forget the rest, but um, that's the main ones for sure. There we go. You got me a brother's best friend. <laughs> like, what more can you ask for? Like, best friend. <laughs> you know, so. Um, and what can we expect for P Rain? What, what are any upcoming releases that we should be in the lookout to? Yeah. Um, the first book in the Mafia Academy series, which is titled Bow of Revenge, comes out on April 27th. And so that is an uh, academy romance, arranged marriage, enemies to lovers Ooh. set in the world of the mafia. It's like a um, secret school where just the mafia children go. So love it. You gave me schools. You gave me like probably social path or mafia people. And then, you know, rich kids behaving badly. Right. <laughs> you know give me like those tropes and I'm like okay yeah. I'm here for it. Yeah. <laughs> like a side of killing or a side of like you know doing something wrong or I'll make you be my wife it's it's great yeah. you know mm-hmm. also like kidnapping is great too <laughs> not yeah real there's, there's oh actually no I, I was gonna say there's no kidnapping that but that's not true <laughs> well there we go <laughs> This is awesome. So, okay. So let's chat some reading. What's, what kind of books do you tend to read? Do you tend to read romance? Do you tend to read non-romance? Like what kept you, what keeps you engaged, you know, and those pockets of time where you get, get a little breather. Uh, I am pretty much only romance reader, um, mm-hmm. but I am in a book club. And so like, if somebody else chooses, it's, it's, I bring it into mystery and thrillers or they are lately. So I've read a couple of those, um, but other than that, if it's my own choice, I usually do check pick romance. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I say I'm about eighty percent romance, ten percent nonfiction, ten percent like mystery thriller. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll. Uh, I just find the thing with thrillers is like I can't turn my writer brain off, so it is very hard for one to surprise me. Mm-hmm. Like I generally am. Like it's the same with movies. My husband gets so annoyed with me, <laughs> like because like I'll just be like oh so this and this and this is gonna happen and and I'm generally right I just can't turn it off so I do enjoy thrillers but I I find like I just like I don't know I think it's probably like readers too if you read a lot you pick up on certain things and so unless it's a really good twist um it's hard to surprise me so they don't engage which is weird because like with romance um you know it's you kind of very often with a trope, you know what's coming. Like if it's brother's best friend, you know they're going to get caught by the brother and you're waiting for it. And that doesn't bother me that I know that's going to happen. But somehow in like a different genre, if I kind of have an idea what's going to happen, I don't enjoy it as much. So, Well, I think swears promise you that it's going to be twist and turning. You won't know what's going to happen. It's going to keep yeah. guessing. And I think maybe the expectation that keeps you guessing. Well, Romans, you're like, I know the formula. I know it's yeah. going to I know there's going to be beats. I know there might be a third act breakup. I know that there's, but I know the end is everyone's going to be happy. No one's going to die. (laughs) (laughs) So so it's like, you know, you get a comfort of no, no one's going to die, you know, while the other one, you're like, well, they're going to probably kill this person, you know? (laughs) (laughs) So awesome. All right. So let's chat some book recommendations. Do you have any books you recommend our listeners to pick up? Yes. Um, my first one is Scandalized by Ivy Owen, mm-hmm. which is one half of Christina Lauren. Mm-hmm. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this one. I uh, called Rain after I was done reading and I was like, oh, you have to read this. I, like, I loved it. Um, the reason I loved it is I just, you could feel, it was kind of like a bit of an insta love or insta lust, mm-hmm. whatever, which doesn't bother me. But I mean, you could really feel these two people falling for each other and how much, um, how much they cared about each other and really how um, odd they were and how quickly they felt for each other. Mm-hmm. So I love that book. I like ate it up, recommend it to everybody I know who reads romance. And, um, and I, I think that Rain really enjoyed it too when she read it. 
Yeah, I did. Uh, well, I mean, it helped that, like, so the hero in that is Korean and my husband's Korean. So that, like, helped yeah. a lot. <laughs> yeah. And it's best friend's brother. So yeah, it's, yeah. It's, you get the, and you get the forced proximity, the celebrity, the yeah. celebrity. You don't know he's a celebrity. And you're like, oh my gosh, you're really famous. <laughs> yeah. And then I told Piper, too, like, I thought that, like, I thought it was going somewhere to, like, that, like, third act, like, breakup. Yeah. But she surprised me on that one. Like, I was yeah. like, on what it did happen so yeah. yeah so love it um rain do you have any recommendations or um yeah i mean we both also loved uh the raven was a series by yeah. um kate stewart so those yeah. are like we listened to them on audio though so that was like that was our first like uh it was my first i shouldn't say it was piper's first but uh the dual um narration you know what i mean like that was just I had to listen to this on audio. I heard I heard great things about it, and I heard also it's gonna rip your heart, you know. <laughs> so. Right. Yeah, that's right. That's so good though. If I could do it over again, I would do it over. Again. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, do I want to be have my heart rip? I don't know. My therapist told me I should, but it's <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Awesome. So Piper Rain, tell us where you can find you online. Um, you can find us on our website at Piper Rain, that's R-A-Y-N-E dot com. And we have uh, a page with all our freebies on it, with all our bonus scenes. We have a list of all our books by trope, um, depending on kind of what feel you're looking for, what you're looking for. Um, and from there, we have a link to all of our socials, Instagram and all that, you know, Facebook, all that stuff. Thank you, Piper. Thank you, Rain, for being on the show. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. If you enjoyed this podcast, feel free to share with friends, subscribe, rate, and review the show. This is the easiest way to support the podcast. For a list of books mentioned and other romance recommendations, please visit whatyourrenextblog.com. Did you know you can purchase audiobooks directly from your favorite local bookstore? With Libro.fm, you can pick up more than 250,000 audiobooks, including bestsellers and recommendations from real booksellers. You'll get the same audiobooks at the same price as the largest audiobook company, you know the name. But you'll be part of a different story, one that supports your local community. If you're new to audiobooks, there's a perfect way to squeeze into more reading to your busy life. Listen with the free Libro.fm app while you do your chores, walk your dog, relax at home. The Watch Read Next podcast has a special offer for our listeners. Get two audiobooks on Libro FM for the price of one with your first month of membership. Use code What to Read Next. This offer is only valid for new members in Canada and the US. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.